Welcome to Off the Press this Thursday morning, the program where we take a look at the national dailies and try to dissect it, make sense of it as much as time will allow and to, to, with me to do so this morning. <laughs> Is Ifi, policy analyst, Ifi Oji, good to have you this morning. Amaka, good morning. It's that kind of morning I am now. Yes, I don't know what I'm trying to, sh whether I was shrubbing or trying to shrub. Anyways, we are here. We shall begin this morning with the Punch newspaper. And it says, electronic payments hit 10.89 trillion in January. That story is on page 27. It will be this. Okay, thank you. Already displayed there on your screens, as you can see it. Uh, Buhari, Jonathan, Atikon, others eulogize Obasanjo at 83. That other statesman is 83 already, wow. Mm. U.S. places 2.5 billion naira uh, bounty on Boko Haram leader Sheikau on page 10, okay? On coronavirus, World Health Organization tracing 65 Italian co-passengers. That's the reason, page 7. And then governor pla governor's plan neck meeting to replace Oshomale as court suspends APC chair. That's the reason, uh, page 2, that broke out last night. And court orders police and DSS to block S governor from accessing the office. Oshomale uh, National Work Working Committee appoints Ajimobi other party national officers and suspended chair about to create chaos. That's according to the vice chairman, Northeast. Now you can see a picture story also. That's uh, to the left, students in uh, India in their classroom all decked with uh, masks. Uh, that's against the coronavirus. And of course, you can see uh, on the left, the World Bank uh, group president they are trying to do the coronavirus greeting. If you, that's a new form of greeting. <laughs> <laughs> elbow, elbow. Yes, elbow to elbow. <laughs> and um, away from that now, a police arraigned fire shares aid for alleged stealing and fraud on page 13. That story is uh, bottom. And then Kashamu loyalists dismiss court order stopping Ogun PDP congresses on page 11 also. And 7,115 AIDS patients receiving treatment in Osho, according to NACA. That's a piece of good news on page 11. And then senators kick as ADME condemns democracy and heals military rule on page 10. Family uh, tackles maritime firm over captain's death and demand probe. That's on pages 4 and 5. And lastly, Southwest Development Bill device said it skills a uh, second reading on page 20. If you, where do we begin? Do we begin with coronavirus? <laughs> I mean, I mean, we might as well begin the coronavirus. It's, mm -hmm. it's affecting everybody's life. Mm -hmm. Everybody is on panic alert, especially in Lagos and in other parts of the world. Yeah. It's literally put the entire globe at standstill. Mm -hmm. And think about when you think about it in in actual terms, viruses are, are so tiny. Right. And just the amounts, how it has put this whole world in a, in a, in scaling panic. terms True. in panic is. It's, it's unbelievable. Un un it's unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then there are meetings cancelled. A lot of people who have uh, global meetings. It has affected every sphere of life, if you ask me. Sports, everything. I mean, just even look, looking at even the, we're making fun. I know we're making fun of the uh, greeting that's mm. uh, the World Bank. But in actual terms, I know that uh, the Chancellor of Germany, mm. Angela, Angela Merkel, Merkel. Yeah. the other day, I'm sure you saw it, went viral. Mm. She extended her hand to shake as a typical protocol at these sort of high level meetings and she was turned down. Yeah. That is a practical issue. It's no longer, so even protocol has, the, the, I, the order of protocol has broken down to mm. the point where we are all trying to just basically survive. The human instinct has kicked in. Mm, that's right. And then still on coronavirus, uh, World Health say they are tracing the 65 Italian uh, co-passengers. I'm shocked that, um, uh, we've not, well, maybe it's... Well, I mean, there was, a, there was an actual declaration. I think this is just a reaction to the actual declaration that was made mm. that they cannot trace the, the passengers. Yes. And I think at, at, this, at this point is where honesty and practicality comes into place. That's right. If you cannot trace the, uh, uh, passengers, the passengers, the passengers. Then, then the international bodies have to, st have to step in. Mm -hmm. It's not there's nothing to be ashamed about. That's right. It's not ideal, but ultimately that's what uh, has... Because that's again. putting everyone at risk. Yes, it's a global issue. It's, it goes beyond mm -hmm. borders. It goes beyond any kind of... Uh, national pride. It, mm. This is actually a practical issue. So. I agree with you on that, yeah. Zindu, when you say it goes against national pride. We shouldn't yes. be, be here and feeling proud and die. And <laughs> die out of pride. Yes, so please. Okay, so we'll move on from that story. And uh, Buhari, Jonathan, Atiku, others eulogize Abbasanjo at 80, 83. And U.S. places 2.5 billion bounty on Boko Haram leadership. Wow, wow. What you a can lot do with 2.5 billion naira right now? And, I mean... I was just going to say, we've always heard at some point that he's dead, 
and some other points, oh, they've captured him, or oh, what's going on would be the question, really. So I think, again, just this, I think these headlines and these uh, are, are basically reactions to things that have gone on in the past uh, couple of weeks and mm. several days. Uh, one of the things I know which has been long-standing is obviously the uh, executive order by uh, the President of the United States, Donald Trump. And they had emphasized security as one of the main issues. Yeah. They had um, laid the uh, ban or the travel ban yeah. on Nigeria. Sharing and, information. Also. And I mean, Nigeria ran into, well, again, in panic mode. There was a lot of those, a reaction from, uh, even up to the presidency, I believe. And they even put out uh, communication mm -hmm. in American newspapers just to allay the fear of uh, uh, um, the American uh, executives that uh, executive and government rather, mm -hmm. that they have it under control and that there are certain things they cannot, that this are outside is. their own control. Yeah. And this is again, America stepping in and saying, okay, well, you say that this is, you're trying to work at it. You've been trying to work at it for the last uh, how many years? Let us step in, let us help you. Mm -hmm. This is typically how they were able to, and I think they did the bounty uh, yeah. bounty tactic with uh, Saddam Hussein and, yes. other, and others. So let's just see what and comes out like of this. Yes, yeah, yeah. and it worked the last time. Let's just and see I mean, what putting happens. it in context, if it's mm. 2.5 billion naira, it's a lot of money. One of the things they've always said to us is that, okay, yeah. the reason that the that Boko Haram has been able to catch so much wind in the north is because mm. there's an economic empo 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 mm. em empo impoverished. <laughs> so ex exactly, sorry. Mm. There's poverty in the north, instead of me biting my tongue. So one of the things, and this will really test the loyalties of uh, members of Boko Haram mm. and just to see you know, how loyal they are and if money isn't really a, a factor. Oh, and yeah. I think typically these are the kind of things that are questions are asked because normally when you find that you have uh, insurgents and, or, or insurgency in those sort of areas, you find that people have got to a point where they have lost hope. That's right. So if they've lost hope, then this mm. is what, this is what, uh, this is what we're we'll, we'll right, seeing. We'll see how far that goes. Mm -hmm. um, and yes, and then coronavirus, the picture story is there. Um, mm. In the interest of time, if you will, may not be able to take so much from this paper, we will just encourage our viewers, as always, to grab copies of any of the newspaper mentioned and try to find out the details of some of the stories. We'll move on now to the nation newspaper. It stole cash in my bedroom, says Senator. I believe that's the senator from Oshun. Um, uh, yes, Bashiru, I think question he is. The question is, what was he doing with all that cash? Uh, how, 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 come how do you get to a point where you yes. have that much cash in do your you, bed? Do you understand? And then made on the road. Why wouldn't the maid? I mean, if you shouldn't ideally have such kind of, we don't know what amount, but this kind of amounts that you come and talk about and yes. be on the national daily is some reasonable amount of money. We'll get to a point where the only tra cash transactions that can just are of more, obviously more and more of an illegal nature. Mm. We know from just from the previous uh, newspaper in the point where they talked about the electronic uh, transactions. Pay, transactions at almost at 10 points, uh, 9 trillion mm -hmm. uh, naira. Yeah. That's almost 40% from the previous year. Mm -hmm. So we know that more and more the transparency is widening and accountability is becoming a thing. So mm -hmm. if you're carrying cash, chances are that cha cash is going to be a driver mm -hmm. for anything that is uh, illegal. That's right. So let's just hope that this wasn't the case in this, mm -hmm. in this particular situation. Mm -hmm. And th that's one also good side of the cashless uh, policy. If we we'll exactly. go cashless, we'll be exactly. able to trace uh, exactly. things like this. Now let's continue with the headline. Now Buhari, Obasanjo committed uh, to nationhood. I think that's him trying to use. I mean, I like, I like the idea of having these sort of things before we lose our leaders. Right. This is the time to celebrate them, mm -hmm. not when they are dead and gone. Mm -hmm. This is the time to really I, you know, yes, nobody is perfect, but at the same time, we know that a lot of the things that are going right in Nigeria these days mm -hmm. actually started from that first uh, right. that first regime, well, mm -hmm. not regime, but that first uh, term of right. office. Mm -hmm. And under uh, Buhar, um, Obasanjo, sorry, uh, we had the the very uh, the widely celebrated uh, privatization process That's right. under the British um, the Bureau of Public Enterprise mm -hmm. and. Um, we know that a lot of these uh, issues that we're dealing with, especially with, I think, the power sector. Power sector, especially. Yes, especially. They may, we complain about the power sector all the time, but at the end of the day, do we really remember what the power sector was like mm -hmm. before the no. uh, privatization process? Mm -hmm. 
it's something that we have to really think about in, uh, in, in earnest. I mean, I agree with you. It's good to light someone's candle while they are still alive. Yes. All right. So, uh, <laughs> so Momfa, we still continue with the headlines on mm -hmm. the Nation newspaper. Momfa and firm rearranged over 33 billion naira fraud. Uh, suspects get mm -hmm. 100 million naira bail. And Oshomala asks appeal courts to vacate suspension. Or that, that story, I know that's the story that will be on the lips of every Nigerian. It's on the front page, as you can see. But this continued mm -hmm. on page 41. Uh, Jama replaces Peter Said as Nimasa DG. Oh, and then Kano Assembly probes Emi Hassan, who see on page 41. Now, COVID-19, review of 2020 budget likely, says federal government. Uh, NCDC gets uh, 935 million naira to battle virus. And U.S. testing EU's drug. Lawan decries Abuja Center. All of this story is here on the front page, but it's continued on page 18. Now, uh, Boko Haram soups on Bruno Town. Again, yet another U.S. places $7 million, uh, $7 million bounty on Abuakar Sheikau, just what we're talking about. That one is on the front page, but it's continued on page 8. And then we have a picture story of bags of ammunition, and that's um, suspects from yesterday. NDLEA seizes. 1,360 rounds of live ammunition on Bauchi just highway. Suspects, we need to sell them to feed our families. Look mm. at what sort of... So again, when we see things like this, it shows us how insecure we are. Yes, and it's a commercialization you know. of insecurity as mm. well. They are really trying to sort of profit from that, even from the secondary perspective. Mm -hmm. So you, you, we don't know how they got access to this in the first place. Yeah. And the a fact hundred, that it's... Yeah, sorry. A thousand, I'm going to say 1,360 rounds of live ammunition. How come? How did it even get in? How mm. was it small? Sure to think. You know, yeah. So every day we talk about the issues of security, but when you see things like this, it puts it in context that, yes, mm. we, we, we have a huge challenge here. Yes. Uh, but again, we, we must commend them. At least we have some mm. faces to put to, to it. So, uh, like you said, hopefully we get the end of get to the end of this matter here. Yeah, just um, funny that they mentioned also. I just wanted to just yes, talk please. really, just really quickly mm -hmm. on how uh, we we made sure that we were CBN compliant by changing the seven million dollars to yes. two billion. Yes, again, <laughs> also, it's, it's also good to put it in context so that we know the kind of amount, amount money we are talking about with, here. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's go to uh, this day. It's unfortunate that we're not, of course, able to go into all the newspaper in total. That's because we're running out of time. Every day we think we're going to make it, well, mm. <laughs> the time seems to fly. So mm. we'll go to this day. And again, Nigeria overtakes South Africa as Africa's largest economy. Mm. If you, I don't know whether you're happy or not happy, but we'll come to it. ABC mm. Hills Buhari's policies is on the front page. We'll come to it and it's <laughs> continuing on page 10. Uh, stakeholders ha uh, hail and NCE on demutualization and list benefits on page five. You can see that story displayed there on your screen. Thank you. And Buhari taps Bashir Jamal as new Nimasa uh, DG on page 12. APC cracks uh, Weiden, Tinubu governor's uh, lock horns as courts suspends Oshomale. Appeal courts reveals, uh, receives appeal, okay? And Obasaki celebrates, that's according to this day newspaper, but the story is on the front page there. It is continued again on page 10. And with two new coronavirus cases, Senegal now has total of four. It continues to spread. Uh, it was isolated compound for the virus uh, cure, undergoing testing, US says the federal government. And that story is on page 10. And we have a picture story discussing matters of state indeed as the Minister of State of Environment, Sharon Ike has to the left and Minister of Finance uh, during the Federal Executive Council meeting yesterday. Now, if he, uh, U.S. renews 2.5 billion naira bounty offered to uh, Boko Haram leader, Shekau, on page eight. We already talked about that. So which story, which one is catching your attention on well, there's so this many day. in this day right now. <laughs> right. So many. Okay, we can start uh, from above the master and go, go down. All right. <laughs> above <laughs> the master. <laughs> All right, let's do so. Okay, so just quickly, let's just tackle the um, the Nigeria overtakes South Africa. We, As we, we've, largest economy. Last, we've seen this back and forth for the last uh, couple mm -hmm. of years. Nigeria is the most populous nation. Mm -hmm. South Africa is the... Uh, 
the most vibrant economy, for lack of a better word. But obviously, with the recent political issues that South Africa has had, mm -hmm. they've had to obviously take a, an, a loss on a lot of their commercial activities, especially um, with um, neighboring countries. Mm -hmm. And, I, and is, is, this, is this more a question of South Africa's loss or Nigeria's gain in the last, in terms right. of our activities? Mm -hmm. we ha that, that is yet to be uh, determined. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, well, well, we can only say that it's a positive for Nigeria for actually doing any kind of competition or ranking. Mm -hmm. And to see Nigeria at the top is always a good, a good thing. Yeah. And also we want to look at, the, I have a lot to say on the demutualization right. and uh, Nigerian Stock Exchange. Right now, it's a big, it's a very big deal. It, they've gone through the arduous process for I think probably about 11 years mm -hmm. trying to do this demercialization. So what, what it is, I'll just take for yeah, people that don't know real quick. Is, yeah. yeah, so what it's it is real quick is basically you have a company that is limited by guarantee. Right. And, it's, and the conversion process to a company that is limited by uh, shares and a profit generating company is uh, what you would term demutualization for this particular process, especially with the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. So they've obviously been going through this process for 11 years from getting the bill signed by President Buhari, from having to uh, present uh, to present their uh, plans mm -hmm. to uh, the Securities Exchange Commission, you know, and uh, the, whole lot of yeah, the scheme forth. back and forth. So the scheme, even the scheme of arrangement, and so they've got, where they've got to the point now where they are now officially a, a limited liability company. Right. And I mean, there are a lot of benefits to that. There's increased flexibility. There's they can be more creative in terms of the products that they are able to place. Mm -hmm. And uh, other countries I know have done it. I think there's the Paris Bourse, the uh, London Stock Exchange in New York. A lot of these countries know that it, in, in, in order to keep up with what is going on in the world, especially right. digitally, one has to be more nimble. And that is what the Stock Exchange has tried to do mm -hmm. with this particular process. Right. Thank you, Ify, for mm -hmm. trying to break that uh, down, actually. Trying. <laughs> Or, or rather for brain, no, no, I take that I know it's a complex For breaking block, that, yeah. yes, down, you know, for us to understand uh, so some complex. of these concepts. All yeah. right. Uh, in the interest of time, uh, again, coronavirus, unfortunately, yes. um, Senegal, as at today, um, That's is recorded. But it, it's actually quite interesting why we don't really have that many cases in Africa yet. Not that I'm, and I'm knocking. <laughs> yes, yeah, so you have to. I, know, I understand. You're not saying that. I'm not trying to celebrate or to rest mm. on our laurels, but it's it's been actually quite uh, refreshing that something of this nature is not coming from Africa, mm -hmm. you know, and it's That's always... That's one, and yes. the fact, because we know that we, in terms of, we may not, we, we may not actually very sincerely have as much capacity in mm. terms of to contain it. So mm -hmm. maybe it's just divine that uh, we have very little to contend with. Even the ones that we have is also scary if it mm -hmm. escalates. So we can mm -hmm. only hope that it doesn't escalate and that we can do what we can to contain it. And finally, we take a Vanguard newspaper. I uh, will just read through it. Uh, Kano mm -hmm. Assembly begins fresh probe of Emir of Emir Sanusi, uh, U.S. again, that's the bounty and this coronavirus. I think the only different story here is uh, Gawan lashes out at successors over Mambila Power Project. Governor Akere Dolu signs Amoteku in Tubiu, protesting mm -hmm. Kanova alleged blasphemy against uh, Prophet Muhammad. That story is on page uh, 13. Unfortunately, if we, we're going to wrap here. Okay, <laughs> all right then. I was going to talk about the uh, commercial pay, the, the okay. uh, activities of the microfinance bank to include insurance of commercial papers, but we can do that. Time. Okay, all right. Thank you so very much, <laughs> Ifi. Our policy analyst, Ifi Oji, it's always good to have you same here, uh, to dissect this. And we'll do this again tomorrow at the same time here on Plus TV Africa. Have yourselves a great day. I am Amaka Okui.